everyone welcome to my new video i just finished packing at least i think i finished packing i just need to double check everything i'm going to germany today i'm going for a job i have two days of photo shoots tomorrow and the day after and then i'm flying to london on saturday um next week probably i'll have to go to milan and i'm gonna stay there for a while so i still don't know what are the exact dates next week till when I'm staying in London? What am I exactly doing? But now I packed stuff for the next approximately seven days. Last night I arrived from London and literally I just came back to repack my stuff because I've been traveling for the last two weeks with a very small suitcase. Honestly, I always overpack. Now I took out a few things because I realized nothing's gonna fit. And also I have a huge jacket in London that I need to pack and bring back. So I literally don't know where is that gonna fit because there's no space in the suitcase right now. I was thinking of bringing my hand luggage like a carry-on but then i'm thinking like really i'm just gonna bring another suitcase so i can pack my jacket and i'm just gonna drag it around the airport so many times i'm just not in the mood for that i got ready i was watching some youtube videos this morning and i was watching vlogmas and i mentioned in one of my previous videos that i started watching zoe sug again she's the first youtuber i've ever watched and i followed her this whole time I didn't watch her like every single year consistently because sometimes I just forget about her and I don't watch her YouTube videos and then I rediscover her again. I always wanted to do a vlogmas of my own but it's a huge challenge and I can try to attempt but not sure I'm gonna succeed fully because it just seems so intense 24 days all day vlogging I feel like if YouTube is not your whole life and your main career then it's very hard to do because you're doing other stuff as well you're with other people as well some people don't want to be on camera I don't know I might think about doing something similar but yeah that was always my biggest wish just don't know if I will be successful at it. I need to start editing the video that I wanna to upload today. I'll try my best to upload it today because I think I'll have some time to edit at the airport, on my way to the airport, on a plane, all this stuff. Like it's so time consuming and I'll definitely have to kill some time. <laughs> finally in bed guess what i'm doing i think i'm addicted to vlogmas in august august it's not even like october or something like that it's august and i'm watching vlogmas from the year 2015 and 16. i seriously don't know what's wrong with me but it just brings me so much joy and relaxes me and I just love it. And I'm already making a list for Christmas. Like Christmassy stuff I want to buy. I don't know. It's just my favorite holiday. And I cannot stop thinking about it. And this happens, I swear, every single year. When the summer ends, I start thinking about Christmas. I don't know why I do this. I feel like summertime I have a great time. And then it's over. And then I'm like, okay, what's next? Okay, Christmas! <laughs> Like September, October, November doesn't even exist in my life. Oh, but yeah, I'm gonna go to bed very soon because I need to wake up quite early. Actually, not that early, like 7 a.m. I don't have to wake up at 6 or something like that. Um, they pick me up at 8 o'clock and then I think it's 30 minute ride to the studio. So it's not bad. And then we're gonna have makeup and all that and then we're gonna shoot all day tomorrow. Then I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning everyone, it's 7.30 a.m. and honestly I could have slept more, I could have slept like three more hours but I have to get up, it's time to work, it's time to go but I'm gonna go downstairs for a quick breakfast and coffee, I have 30 minutes and then we're going to the studio. Honestly I don't know why I always break out before my shoots but somehow my skin always breaks out before i have a job before i have a photo shoot it's not too visible but i put some cream on 
just in case. It's fine. <laughs> I just got back to the hotel we finished early hour and a half early i was so happy we were shooting really fast we had a bunch of clothes but they only shoot the front and only if there's like some letters in the back or some detail in the back they shoot the back but otherwise they do just a close-up of the item that we're shooting so the timing of the shoot was depending on how fast i am with my posing with changing into different clothes and i'm pretty fast i can say that whenever the client tells me we don't have like specific time that we need to shoot just the amount of stuff we need to shoot i'm pretty fast because they want to be fast i want to be fast so we can finish early and then it's just everything goes by faster but some clients tell me i don't know we need to finish at five so no matter how many looks we have we need to finish at five which sometimes is worse because you're waiting around a lot because they know they have a lot of time and they're just like either talking a lot to each other or like we have a bunch of breaks or i'm just like sitting waiting around again for i don't know what so every client is different honestly i think i prefer doing it this way just having the amount of looks we need to finish and not being restricted by the time is i'm moving the whole time and i find that when i sit a lot on the set and wait around i get sleepy and i get tired and then i just need a bunch of coffee but it's not helping i don't know i think every model has their preferences but i think if i could choose this would be the best way to shoot ecom i'm gonna shower now i have a, so much hairspray in my hair I need to take my makeup off and I really like the makeup for this shoot um, the makeup artist does a great job and I actually took photos of certain products that I want to buy because I was amazed how they look on my face and yeah I think I'm just gonna chill in the bed tonight because that's the best thing to do after a whole day of shoot I just don't want to do anything it's raining outside it's cold I just want to be cozy in my bed but I need to get ready for bed first. I need to be clean, showered, and then I can rest, watch some YouTube, maybe more vlogmas. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. But I'm gonna go now, get ready. So I already shot for New Yorker a month ago and we were shooting in Venice, we were shooting a campaign and it came out. And I have a few photos from this photo shoot. I don't have everything, but hopefully they will send it to me soon. But these are the photos. As you can see, we had a really fun time. It was very hot, by the way, and we were wearing winter clothes, as you can see. It was thir over 30 degrees. I think it was like 33 degrees Celsius, and it was very, very hot. But we had so much fun. So, yeah, there's a few photos. I like this one. As you can see, very spontaneous. I love this one. It's so cute. 
so I was looking through Uber Eats to order something and then I saw this place, Royal Donuts. They have the most amazing donuts ever. I never tried them before, but they look insane. So I'm hoping they taste as good. Oh my God. This looks insane and smells insane. Of course, I'm not gonna eat everything at once, but I'm gonna taste every single one of these. And I'm gonna leave some for tomorrow, of course, because I am not going to eat five donuts at a time. So we have coconut one. Then this is, I don't know, this is chocolate and some nuts. Then we have Kinder Bueno, some strawberries, white chocolate. This is Lotus Biscuits. This is croissant that's made into a donut and covered with blueberries and white chocolate. So I'm gonna do a taste test right now. I'm so excited about this. I was craving donuts for so long and I couldn't find a place where I really liked the donuts, like crazy donuts like this. Okay, which one should I try first? I wanna try the blueberry croissant one because I feel like that's a bit different. Oh, wow. Guys, look at this. This is so interesting. I've never seen something like this before. This is so good. Okay, so there's like croissant on top and bottom and in between is chocolate. And then blueberries are giving a little bit of a soury taste. Okay, next one I'm gonna try is the biscuit one. I'm really excited about this one. This is really good. The next one, let's try this one. This one is huge. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm comparing it to my head. It's like literally the size of my hand. It's insane. Oh my God, guys, there's cream inside. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. Look at this. Ah, it's dripping. Look at my hands. <laughs> I'm such a pig. I need to stop eating this one, it's so good. So next one I'm gonna try is this like Ferrero Rocher donut. Come on, focus. This one is also filled with chocolate. Okay, the last one we have is this coconut. I don't know if, if it's filled with anything. All of these are very different. This is also filled with chocolate. Okay, I think that's enough because I'm gonna get a heart attack from all of this sugar. I swear to God, I think each of these donuts has like two kilograms of sugar. <clears throat> I love how this morning I was complaining about breaking out before my photo shoot and now I'm eating literally a box of donuts. <laughs> I just love sugar. I love it so much. I have such a sweet tooth. Okay, I'm gonna put this away for tomorrow. I'm not even sure I'm gonna finish all of this because that's just so sweet. It's so intense, but it's so good. Literally for the last four hours, I was just sitting in my bed watching YouTube. I showered, washed my hair, just relaxing. I finished my donuts from yesterday 
And I cannot believe I ate donuts for dinner two days, for two days straight. So talking about Christmas in this vlog, um, Zoe just published a video for her vlogist, the last video, Christmas Day in August. This just proves that I'm not the only insane person in this world <laughs> that will literally have a Christmas day in summertime. And I honestly love it and I wish I could do this. But personally, I'm not sure I have a friend that I could do this with because no one is cuckoo like me. Today was a wonderful day at work. Uh, we had 15 looks maybe to shoot. So we were very slow today with shooting. And as you saw, we had a mini party at work. And we again finished even earlier than yesterday. We finished around 3.40. We have some great images. I really like working with this team. So hopefully I'll come back here soon and we'll work again together. I'm gonna put some images here from today. This was literally the last look we did. And we did it for the like jeans section. Today was more like editorial and they transferred me these photos at the end. They're like, you can have them and they just airdrop me everything. And tomorrow morning, I gotta wake up at... Okay. I gotta wake up at 6 a.m. because at 6.30, I have a driver picking me up, taking me to the airport, flying to London. Probably gonna go to bed soon uh, because I don't wanna be tired tomorrow. And yeah, I think that's will be... That will be. This will be it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I have a lot of things coming up in September and I'm gonna probably vlog most of it. So get ready. And yeah, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications so you can know and get notified when I upload a video. And I'll see you soon in my next video.